Hi right, guys, I'm playing War Robots on the Steam Deck. This is the LCD version Steam Deck. And this Steam Deck does have Windows 11 Pro. Uh, this is actually attached to a... Um, this is actually attached to a Acer monitor, external monitor. And uh, this uh, Steam Deck is actually on Windows 11 Pro. It's actually the, the LCD version Steam Deck. It's the original Steam Deck, as I like to call it. Because a lot of people might not understand, so original is not the OLED one. This is the LCD version one. Uh, this Crimson Hawk has two tamers, and it's got uh, a Punisher and a Crew Bane. Those are the, it do, does carry two heavy weapons and two light weapons. Um, and it does fly up in the air. It's got a built-in cannon, so that's its ability that it has only when it's flying up in the air. That's an Ochi Kochi, and his is firing on me. And I want to put some distance, only because this dude does run into you, and it will cause uh, quite a lot of damage when he is flying into. You. Right. So I have. That's why I was moving backwards. But uh, I don't know if he's still alive or he's still down there. No, I think that's a different robot. That looks like a Dagon. I oh, know it's a Skyros. All right, it looks like a Skyros. I have to tell. Oh no, it's Imuji. You know, like I said, it's hard to tell these robots. You know what? They're busy attacking me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the other side. <laughs> you see, they were attacking. At first, I was like, maybe I should. Be concerned, then I thought, nah, let me just go to their beacon on the other side. And now I can just hide and attack this too. That's an Opian. Uh, Opian carries three medium weapons and it can fly up in the air. Right, so this is a Lynx. And I think it's got two Atos. These are laser beam weapons. And uh, he's got an ability whereby when he fires, his, uh, when he uses his ability, he gets uh, he gains a bit of stealth. And uh, obviously a bit of speed as well, right? So I'm using the ability, and I'm, I've got my weapons out, and I'm just attacking this dude as much as possible. And he is suffering quite a lot of damage. And uh, let's see how much damage he's suffering. You can get it that way. Um, using uh, the ability for the links again, attacking the guy in the middle, because I just don't see the point of changing my aim. I mean, if he's the one causing the damage, just knock him out, like we've done there. And trying to cause damage to this dude as well. And uh, it says my weapons are locked or something. So I'm trying to knock this dude out. When the opium's on the ground, it's actually much uh, easier to kill. I mean, easier to destroy. The, those shockwave weapons do work for certain type of robots. But I have to say they're not that good. I have the heavy weapons, the shockwave, uh, the fan bores. I've got like uh, five of those, uh, but I put them on a butch robot because I wasn't actually using them. Like I said, it depends what robot you're getting attacked by. As you saw, they, they seem pretty effective against me. But you have to remember, I wasn't actually fighting him. <laughs> I was fighting someone else. I think the fan bores are good. I'm not saying they're bad, but I just... Oh wow, so this, this team has won already. They won the game! <laughs> That's what I'm noticing! I think they already won! That's a pity. Right, so... I have to cause 2 million damage. And I'm trying my best to do that. I'm using a DualSense controller. A PS5 gamepad and I'm using PlayStation accessories app which you can easily download from PlayStation.com uh, to update the DualSense controller which is this one and um, the reason why I'm using the DualSense controller um, the PlayStation accessories app is because um, it allows the game most games on Steam Deck to recognize your controller even though it's plugged in because remember look it's plugged in a lot of games sometimes don't work properly with the DualSense controller so the PlayStation app is actually running on my Acer monitor. I've got a quick CPU as my power plant. 
Windows Mobility Center sound. Uh, as you know, sometimes DualSense controller does take sound away. Got set time and resolution. That's another program. An AMD power control panel, and I'm overclocking the Steam Deck by 50 watts and using 5 uh, gigahertz uh, CPU. But uh, we both know that Steam Deck doesn't go as high as 5 gigahertz. It probably only does about uh, 4 gigahertz because the original LCD version Steam Deck uh, CPU is actually unlocked, which means it goes higher than 3.5. Uh, Quick CPU has some graphs on it. It also shows core parking, says 100%, frequency scaling 100%, turbo boost is 100%, and performance is set to 100%. And it does show the clock speed and the temperature right now and the utilization of RAM. It's saying it's about 48 to 56%. It's saying temperature is 89.4 degrees Celsius. And the clock is reaching about 3.5 gigahertz. It's not going above that. Right, so I'm gonna go with. Uh, I want to use the best hanger for this. And I'm gonna use this one because everything in here flies uh, except for the Erebus. The Erebus does have those uh, June rockets, and the June rockets have a range of 1,100 meters. And uh, the June Tom, I don't know if I'm saying that cor correctly, the, the weapon. In the middle is the freeze blast weapon that range is only 600 meters so i do need to get slightly closer to use the, the other weapon but the the june the rockets uh do uh fly at um, the range is 1100 meters so you don't have to be that close uh the area bus depending on what kind of pilot you've got also depends with the ability of the because it's got a cannon at the back of the, the robot. And with, with one of the pilots that I've got, the cannon does uh, freeze the robot and causes uh, what's called dot damage, which is damage over time. And uh, basically, I'm just wondering something. Why, why is it like that? Okay, there's, there's, uh, there's a Loki over there. I was, I was wondering, how come they've got every beacon? I'm actually having to sacrifice my Erebus to go there because I'm like, how come that is like that? That's that's so weird. I mean, look at this. Now now I'm actually having to brawl. This is not a brawling type of robot. This is meant to be a sniper. But I'm like, we're losing all the beacons to the point that I was just thinking, no, this is not good. I have to get, get there and I have to try to help the team out and to win something. Like I said, um, these, uh, let, let me use my uh, Nightingale, this uh, this one has stealth. I mean, it's also got that, um, it has, uh, what you call this, quantum radar on it. So if that's a Loki, I should be able to target the Loki to destroy it. The quantum radar will uh, kind of makes it easier for you to target any robot uh, with stealth. Wow, that's weird, man. What the hell happened? You see that? What happened there? That's weird, right? That's never happened before. I'm playing a game and it just goes off. Like, what, what the hell? Right, when I attack this dude, I'm attacking the low key. I need my robot to survive. I was almost destroyed there. This, this dude is re recognizing me. Look at him. He's <laughs> <he's> watching. <laughs> I had to go up. You see, he's trying to destroy me. He realized that I've got uh, the Quantum Raider. You see, so <laughs> he, wanted, he, he really wanted to destroy my robot. <laughs> he was looking at me, he was like, Oh, you want to attack me? You're not going to get that far. I've got the... Yes, there you go. I told you, you need at least one robot in your team that has the quantum. Look at him now. He's not pissed. <laughs> I'm getting my Titan out. <laughs> Go use my Titan. Imagine. You see? He's so he's so pissed. He, 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 he went to get his Titan. He has to fight. But he was clever. I mean, it lasted for as long as it lasted for. But in the end, we got him. 
I'm gonna try and uh, capture this. I'm gonna use my beam on him. He comes back, he should suffer some kind of damage. You see, he's realizing he's suffering damage. So he's trying to figure out what to do. Oh, damn. I'm gonna fly a bit. When the Nightingale is up in the air, it does cause damage when it is attacking. Um, I mean, it can, when it's flying, it does attack the, the, the robot or Titan at the bottom. But of course, this guy, he's got a vendetta. <laughs> he's got a vendetta against me. I'm just like, you know what? Maybe I should have been flying to the beacon in the middle instead. But now I'm worried if he's going to try and destroy my robot. So I'm just going to fly away. Because I'm just seeing it's pointless to continue fighting with him. The Nightingale can heal itself when it flies. Uh, it also gets this uh, weird beam. It's got a laser beam on it. And uh, yeah, so this dude has just left that beacon alone. And now someone is going to the beacon. I mean, it's, it's, I don't blame people that do that because he's noticing that the team is not pulling its weight. And I think everyone is now fighting with that Titan. Instead of pursuing the, the other beacons and stuff. We can win this game if people pull together. Right, that guy's got the Moolah. He's got that Moolah Titan, the new Titan. So hopefully he actually destroys that robot and captures a beacon for us. I'm going to the to this last beacon over here. Like I said, I could have continued fighting with that Titan. But there's no point because that's an other Titan. At some point it would have just destroyed my robot. So I didn't see a point. Damn, this guy is attacking me. So I'm going to fly up as well. And, and heal this dude, see? I'm above him, I'm actually healing him. If he stays in one place, he will heal. Anyway, he needs to move, he's moving. I don't know why people don't get those uh, self-fix units. Like, if they didn't know that the self-fix unit actually helps. Because it does, it does help a lot. You got a self-fix unit. Uh, you can actually heal your uh, Titan with that. I don't know why people don't get them. Uh, so this dude wants to go in the middle. Boom! There you go. No worries about that one. So all the robots are up here. I'm closing my shield because I don't want to get uh, attacked by that. Check this out. That mole has got that weird effect that it's got there. I wonder what it's doing when it's got that weird effect. And it seems pretty fast as well with how it moves. The reason why I went back to the other Titan, I went back to this because I got uh, frustrated, like I said, with the new Titans. The new Titan's not that good. You see, new Titan got destroyed. The series is still a series, uh, not that good. And yeah, I know you, you're probably saying, well, it depends on your team. Fine, it does depend on the team, but still, the new Titan is, is not good. It's not a good Titan to use anyway. Uh, the memory test is also not that good. The Sharenga is not that good either. I mean, so many of them aren't that good. So, it, it's like, you have to go backwards now. You literally have to go backwards in terms of using Titans to find the best Titan to use. Right, so... Let me... See where we are on this task. It's saying I've got 1,457,605 damage, but I need to reach 2 million. So I've got about, uh, roughly about 5.5, 5, 5, 550,000 damage more to do. And that's it. So we're very close to completing this task. This is what I do these days. I used to focus on every task, but I don't anymore. I just focus on the main task. And once I finish that task, I move on to the next game. Which is gonna be War Robot Frontiers, and I told you on that one, I do play, I do play a game called um, War Robot Frontiers. I do play it on medium graphics, and I would like to show you guys the graphics details on this one. I think on that one, what did I use? I used the one with Erebus, didn't I? That one. So this one, I'm gonna be picking depending on the field itself and not on the hangar. This is more open space. So I think with this one, I'm gonna go with uh, Rook, this one. I got two Dagons on this. I got two Typhoons, but one's a Warrior Typhoon. 
and uh, because it's more open space, I can cause slightly more damage. And the day guns that I've got on my team, on my hangar, have all the new weapons. This one's got the freeze weapons, it's got snare, the freeze. Um, okay, it's got chi on. I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, which is a freeze blast weapon. And then it's got uh, flame throws, and it's got uh, two flame throws, two freeze blast weapons. These are all light light weapons. Uh, the sneer are actually freeze weapons. The old type of freeze weapons, but they do cause a lot of damage. Uh, is, uh, the sneer, they're like the Terramok Hells. If you know what the Terramok Hell is, that's, the sneer is the light version of that weapon. So it's, it does cause significant amount of damage. Of course, there that guy had thunders on him. The thunders are shotgun weapons, so of course, he was always going to cause slightly more damage. This one's got two spark, the MK2s. I've got two entertainments, also MK2s. And I've got, I think with this one, I've got, um, I'm trying to remember the other two weapons that I've got on this team. But like I said, they're all new weapons. All of them are new. And um, let me think, what else do I have on this one? Uh, I might have the Aramis weapons. The Aramis are new. Um, the laser kind of weapon, uh, the Aramis, because I think the, there's Athos, which is the heavy one, the heavy weapon or medium weapons. I've got those, and I've got the Aramis, and I've got um, I've got all of the new laser weapon. You know the laser ones. Some people do use the medium weapons, um, the Athos and Aramis on uh, the Emoji the ardent emoji and they fly with them and then they cause so much damage i used to think those are the laser weapons but they're not the the aramis uh let me find what the name of that weapon is called uh because i do have it on my links yeah on this one uh that's athos okay athos is the heavy that's the laser weapon that's what i'm talking about athos is the heavy but i want the light version weapon let me find them uh so on this side oh no he's got these are freeze weapons the chion right but these ones this is aramis yeah the laser one that's aramis that's the light version and then i need to get uh I'm looking for the medium weapons if i can find the medium weapons and then i will know the name medium who's got medium here i can't find the medium weapons I think this this may have actually came from I don't think I've got any mediums wait you know the easiest way to do this is to go into the store and um, the mediums should come out here I know they'll be exclusive but if you have them it should tell you that you've got them in stock isn't it it normally would do that these are like really old weapons it, it normally tells you right it should it should normally tell you Okay, it's called the Pothos. Right, I know what these are. The Pothos are on my Mask MK2 uh, two, uh, two robot. Here, the Pothos. I got three of these. So it's a Pothos, the medium, uh, the Aramis, the, the light version, and the Ath Athos, which is the, the heavy weapon. Right, so I just want to check and find out uh, where we are on damage. So 147,000. So we are getting there. We are going up. But it says 400 meters. So I, I just have to try to remember the 400 meter line. And then I will know how much damage to deal. Right. This is more open space. And I'm thinking maybe the first one. I'm going to use the first hanger. Uh, the MK2 mouse. It's got a gun turret. does carry three medium weapons. And it's got the... It, okay, I, I, for, I forgot the name already. <laughs> it's got the Pathos. It's got three of them. There's so many names to remember. That's that's why I'm, I'm thinking about it. Right, so... Uh, three medium weapons on this dude. It's got the gun turret on the top of him. You can drop the turret. Like I said, this uh, robot, just like Erebus, they have different pilots. Uh, between the pilots of the one that I've got, when I drop the gun turret, the turret on the top, because I want to drop it now, 
why I'm dropping it. So when this guy is trying to attack me, my turret is attacking him as well. And uh, oh yeah, that's that's an angler. So as soon as he tries to hit me, he's gonna try and cause damage. So what I did there is create some space between me and him. And because you see my turret was firing on him, he suffered quite significant damage. This dude wants to come up, he's got lasers, but I've got lasers too. And then I drop my turret, and what happens is if, when he comes up on top again, it's the turret that will attack him. You see, so he's, he's, uh, he knows if he comes up, he starts suffering. All right, so that dude is helping this dude out. Uh, that's a space tech, that's a... Uh... Right, so let's see. Let's just see, let's see, let's see, is he landing? I don't want to waste my mothership beam on him because, look, he's already dead. So I'm not going to waste, I'm just going to drop the turret. Like I said, the two pilots, the pilot that I've got on my, on my uh, mask, I'm going to use it on this dude though. Right, I'm going to try and draw him back into it. There you go, if he comes back in, you'll suffer some damage. See, suffering damage right there just by going back into it. But uh, the beam is gone anyway. Right, so with the two pilots for the mouse, one pilot supports, if you drop the turret, like you saw there, I get increased speed. The other, the other pilot is the one where you can throw your turret to a certain uh, distance away from your robot, and then it's uh, the robot that, um, uh, what's happening, it's, it's not dying. That's weird, right? Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it. Is able to move. He wasn't suffering any damage. I was just like, is this real? What's happening with this dude? He was not suffering any damage at all. There's something wrong with my weapons or something. Wow, this guy is causing a lot of damage. Damn. You see that? He's not even suffering anything from his frozen meat. Can't even move. Damn, that Dagon was doing something to hit my robot. All right, um, so like I said, I'm going to use the Pathfinder. And from what I can tell with this dude is, you see that targeting system that it has, that it puts on a robot. Any robot that attacks that dude will get double damage output on him. Um, the Pathfinder also gets... Um, uh, the use of three medium weapons. Right, so this guy was my way. I couldn't see what I was doing there. But the one thing I do like about these weapons on this dude is that when you've targeted someone like that, it will start to attack that dude like, I don't know, it's like it's like a um, red dot, you know? Like it does start to target that robot in particular. So if you do target a robot and that uh, marker goes on top of him, what the hell's going on? Well, who's attacking me? <laughs> I just getting the hits here. You know? So, like, you target the dude. The, once you put that marker on him... Oh, uh, damn, I need to move, man. <laughs> That's my robot. Damn! Right, when you put the marker on someone using Pathfinder, the, the actual thing that starts to happen is that you start to... Um, you will start to like aim directly towards that that robot. Oh damn! I hope I don't land on a building. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this dude. The only thing I like about this Titan is that when it's stuck somewhere, you can still move. Even you saw there, they they froze me, right? They did freeze me, but I was still able to move. So that's the only thing I like about this Titan. Like here, yeah, I just want to get somewhere where there's cover. I got a double kill. Let's see if I can get a living legend. The problem with the living legend is you need to get uh, a living legend within the a specified period of time. Otherwise, you'll not get the living legend. So that's the only problem. Right, let's see if I can attack this dude. Ah, I got an assist. <laughs> that's so sad. That was so sad. Ah, I got a triple kill. I might, I, might, I might still be able to get that, uh, let's see if I can get that living legend thing. But like I said, you have to do it now within a specified period of time. So that's why I'm trying to rush to get as many kills as I can. Normally, I'll be trying to protect the Titan. But uh, like I said, if you are able to 
to get the, 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 the kills within a specified period of time, you might still get the living legend thing. But uh, of course, it's not as easy as, as just um, getting those. You have to get it within a specified period of time. That's what I mean. But check, it's going to destroy my title. <laughs> I, got, I got nailed. Ah! going to use the curé. You know what would have made the curé nice? Um, I'll check this guy. Right, so I can't tell, but I, I'm just going to try and capture this beacon anyway. Oh, damn, that, that's, that's an Indra Titan. <laughs> You're going to run away now. The Indra is not that fast. <laughs> That's why I'm running. Look at this dude, he's trying to attack me, but I'm too clever for him. Look, the Indra is slow, man. So yes, it's powerful, but it's slow. <laughs> it's a slow Titan. And you see, he's getting attacked by my turrets. Boom. Got him. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> that Indra. Yeah, I mean, if, if he goes invisible, he gets like... Um, he will get like like uh, a bit of speed. Ah, uh, come on, dude! Come on! <laughs> look at this! We're getting attacked by an Indra and oh, damn! <laughs> the Indra's behind me! Oh, damn! They got me! Ah, oh, so wicked, man! <laughs> ah. All right, I'm gonna use my Loki. Let's see what we can do. The Loki here. There was nothing I could do. You know, one was in front of me, the other one was behind me, and it was just, um, just crazy, crazy damage that we were doing. Right, I think that's a Pathfinder. That's another Pathfinder over there. Right, I'm gonna try to capture this beacon from that Loki as well. Right, I think we won. Yes, victory. I knew it. I was like, I think we did it. So I wasn't sure, but I was thinking about it, you know. I was like, maybe it's a 50-50% it's a chance that we actually won. Right, I'm recording this with my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Uh, the Z Fold 6 is the one that's on uh, the display over there. And the iPhone 12 over there, just watching a couple of videos. I want to see where we're going uh, on this because, like I said, I want to complete this. Then I move to War Robbers Frontiers. And then from Frontiers, I'll do a bit of Counter Strike, uh, Fallout 84. I'll probably play Fallout 84 first, then um, the other games. It's saying I've done 1.8 million damage. I just need to do 200,000, and it's uh, then I'll be done with this one. Then I can go to War Robots uh, Frontiers. The same developers that made this game made uh, Frontiers.